Welcome everyone to our prayer journey with my Uto daily devotion. Do you remember the first time that you actually stole or lifted or walked away with an item from a store? Well, you know, I do. <laughs> and the reason is I got caught doing it and my father was with me and I was so embarrassed and I apologized to the man and the man was very gracious, accepted my apology, and just said to me, young man, don't do that anymore. And then when I got home, I got a spanking, if I remember correctly, for doing something that I should have not been doing. So with that, I want to read a verse to you from the Bible that really points out the problem with man. It's in Romans 2, 1. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest. For wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest do it the same thing. In putting it in words from the Hebrew language and taking it apart, it says pretty much the same thing, but you get a little more emphasis Thou art inexcusable, O man, whoever thou art that judgest. For wherein you judgest another, you condemn yourself. For you who judge, preso, or practice in our language, in English, the same things. You know, it's a real sad commentary on Christianity and Christians when we point out other people's wrongs. You know, I had a very simplistic man uh, who always use this illustration. When you point your finger this way, you're pointing three fingers back at you. And you know, while that is very simplistic, it is very true. How many things do you do wrong? When you say to some about someone to someone else, or you judge and say, you know, that person is doing this and that, and they call themselves a Christian, how does that look before God? Because it says here, thou condemnest yourself, because you do the same thing. Maybe not the same exact thing, maybe something a little different. Are you jealous? Is that why you're doing it? I don't know. Is it just human nature? Well, then we have to have Christ's nature. Again, starting in this verse, listen to this first part of the verse. Therefore, thou art inexcusable. There is no excuse. No excuse. Inexcusable, O oh man, whoever thou art that judges. So here's the thing. When we're around people that may be not really Christians or Christians are doing things they should not be, we may have to discern and separate from them. You know, if somebody is saying they're a Christian and doing things and uh, don't that are wrong and they don't think they're wrong uh, you can try to tell them in a nice way and then if not that such a one you don't even eat with you separate but you don't have to point out their faults to everyone else you know sometimes you find out that you the fault that you thought they had you had and that's what got I have a thing just came to my mind and one time when I was pointing at an individual and praying for that individual, God says, I showed you this to show you what you are like. So what do we do when we see an individual that is maybe not living right? We don't judge them. We should be praying for them. This is titled Our Prayer Journey, this devotional series we do. So let's journey into prayer for those that are in need. Let's repent for ourselves first and then pray for others. And maybe God will even show you where you're like them. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.